This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramount. This time around, they're going to have to bat a whole lot longer and look to put together a pretty impressive total. We've seen the Sri Lankan Lions side post -school. And a good enough strike rate. Let's see if he can do that here against the Sri Lankan Lions. Kamal Reyes bowling the first over. A little whip is on offer there. It's a rather tame shot. Keeper takes a shot at the stumps and uh, just throws the kitchen sink of that one. And it's got enough to go for the boundary. Into his crease there, Umar Shah. That's beautifully played. Gorgeous shot. Absolutely love that. Just placed away so well. I think that's certainly something that's catching on. And speaking of catching, well, nobody's going to catch on to this one. I did mention in the last match that the Sri Lanka Lions have. This one just struck up firmly away. Towards square leg, it's going to be another boundary. And I love this by Umar Shah. Well, that's the way to reply. You get hit, well, hit back. And he does hit back. That's a cracking shot. Oh, well, this one has flown through. Sometimes it's into us here. And that one is going to be six runs. That's just an easy hit. It's that slower delivery, and it looks like it might get in the wicket again. Roshan is the fielder. Oh, he gets his completely wrong, doesn't he? A huge moment in this game. Goes for the slower ball again. This time it's uh, struck away for a boundary by Singh. A terrific hit. Oh, this time he goes big. Has he gone the distance? He has. Been caught for a huge six. And now another opportunity. And this is taken, and he does exactly what the captain wanted. And you can see the celebration there from Siri Wildena. There's the catch that gets taken out there in the deep. This is struck firmly. You could hear that one from a mile away. It just raced away towards the boundary rope, and sing. Oh, this one, he's left it in the slot as well, but it could be a catching opportunity, and it is taken. Really, really good catch there by Chamal Sodun. He's covered a lot of ground in a short space of time. And the stand-in skipper has taken another terrific catch. And takes the applause. And now it could be two and two. It will be. It's another. It's going to be a first baller for Kuma, or Tajinda Kuma, who probably was one of the heroes in the last match for Royal CC, picking up three wickets and scoring some runs. Ray's coming back for a second. And Singh now, he's the only settled batter left out there. He's going to hit this one away for a boundary. Ray is going a little bit too short. It's going to be a real test of their sides, fitness levels, as well as their mental resolve and focus. This one's a, uh, oh, it's going to beat Rajiv. It's a full toss. And is it going to be punished? It will. Goes away towards a boundary. Sadoon just. Completely agree. With 30 more runs in the next couple of overs. He feels a bare minimum. That one's going to beat the fielder, take one bounce inside the rope and go away for a four. The stat you just made now, that's a deliberate to movement to play the ball on the leg side and it works out. So that, now same again, it just lofted away, but he gets this one away. In the air, and this one's going to go all the way into the olive trees. Six runs. This one is... Uh, He's thrown his bat at that one. He's throwing the kitchen sink at it. Doesn't quite come out of the middle of the bat. And he's trying to go for the big one again. Oh, there's a huge amount of miscommunication. And it's going to be a run out in the end. The initial appeal was uh, for an edge. Take a couple of big swings and uh, allow a couple of top balls to go past. Yeah, I, I mean, in a way... You understand what Karan Singh's done there to Lovepreet because even though Lovepreet has hit a couple of boundaries, he's then, but he's still at the non strikers then. Karan Singh, well, they've got to go again here. Well, he might make it because he's not the best of throws, but uh, Siriwadana does the job and he spikes it into the ground. There's going to be another run out. And uh, we'll get the graphics updated in a moment. But I think that was uh, this time Karan Singh 
is not going to make it back. So it has a swing. This time it's his turn to have to go. It's uh, well, he said, if you're going to do it to my mate, Lovebury, I'm going to do it back to you. The captain is not going to make it. And it's going to be a, a gutsy 50, really, for Curran Singh. most of these hits to be going on the leg side and the first one is played handsomely out of the off he'll just take a single and he will because that's a gundy ball it's short and he's going to get clobbered away that's going to be four runs he gets a swivel on this and he hits his first boundary of the day so then he'll like to perform well and well it's not going to work because this one is going to bounce right between him four more and well that is a bad <laughs> ball and even if he's there it's still going to try and stop it he can't only the fence stops that one and they're all getting excited about the golden ball for one moment well we're not getting that excited because it's the lions that are roaring once more watching us and keep an eye on things in portugal and why not this one gets guided away the chase is on under under iba 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 but they can't get there they will get a bonus point. And if they continue to strike it like this, well, that bonus point just gets closer and closer. Kalugula. And this one is a miscue. It's a chance. And it gets taken. So Kalugala, after hitting a big six down the ground, he just fetches this one. It's slightly shorter. The shot's probably not on. And he's trying to work it over the field of there. Nice catch taken. Down the leg side, can't be there because you're going to get wallop. The timing is just epic. Should be bowling well outside the off stop. This is another rank delivery that's going to get clobbered away. It's gone the distance. Back to back, Maximos. Oh dear. Well, you can just the body language from his own players says it all. They're just. Oh, well. Just six more. It's as easy as that. Six more they've got. Well, no, he's going to go down the ground. Nobody's stopping that. Okay, maybe not. And this one, well, I think they're glad that it's over now. That's going to be six. So six more. And a bit of carnage here. 33. It goes supersonic. Oh, well, that's going to just be creamed, isn't it? That's going to be six Helicopter crash. Oh, that's Gundy, isn't it? Gundy. Now, I don't think there's an issue with the high. I think it's dropping. Let's see, it's through. And that's going to be four more. 44 balls. Lobbed over one fielder. And watch the Tortuga. And oh, you got a feel for the fielder here. Justin Langer scored. 342 for Somerset against Surrey. And that is it. It is done and it is dusted. And I think even Vivian Richards, the man that we're talking about, would have been very proud with the knock and the hitting from the captain here, Jamal Sudan. It's a saying in cricket, isn't it? And in most sports, that form can come and go, but class is permanent. And I think Jamal Sudan showed his class there.